see if this connection and this camera is gonna be anointed tonight. All right, let's see if we're gonna be able to make this work. I don't know, but we certainly is fin to, we fin to find out. Hi, everybody. Oh, that's a little shaky over there. Hold on one second. Let me see if I can wipe this off. Okay, that's better. And then TikTok, you will look cloudy, but y'all deserve to be cloudy. <laughs> Let me stop playing with y'all. Let me stop playing with y'all. Okay. What's up, everybody? Hey. You here after resting your eyes? I know. Well, might as well get started with a cocktail. Huh? Might as well get started with a little cocktail. Let me actually get a cocktail shaker. Because I feel like I want to do this, but part of me is like, I want to do it in a, um, in a cocktail shaker, just to start, all right? So here's what I'm going to do. Um, oh, we should probably give you a discount code for tonight, shouldn't we? Let me see. Um, tonight's discount code. Child, I done been through it today. <laughs> um, what's a good discount code for tonight? I don't even know. Um, I would say refund, okay, would be a good one, but I don't want to invite that energy <laughs> into my spirit, okay? Um, what should we use? We should use <laughs> somebody said, first of all, okay, today is Monday. Today is no, the code is going to be peace. That's our code for tonight, okay. Uh, let's see. Offer products. Our discount code tonight is PEACE. It will get you 35% off anything on the store, specific collections. Let's do um, aprons, cookbooks, cookware, hoodies, t-shirts, wine glasses. All right. Um, let's do that. Tonight's code is going to be PEACE. Oh, I've already used peace before. I've already used peace. Peace. Can I use tranquility? Tranquil. Oh, why don't I just pull up peace? Hold on one second. Duh. I'm such an idiot. Peace. Yeah, I did that in August of 2021. Okay, let me edit this real fast because this one... Says 50% off everything, and that's not going to happen tonight. Okay, 35% off of... I can't do it. See, they changed stuff on Shopify. They changed it, so I can't even do it on here. So it's going to have to be something else. Tranquility would be nice, but I feel like people be... They don't know how to spell tra grace. Beautiful. All right, let's do that. Grace is a good code. Thank you so much, whoever said that. You are amazing. All right, we're going to do the code. It's going to be Grace. G-R-A-C-E. All right, Grace will get you 35% off. Uh, let's see. I'm going to give it to you off of aprons, cookware, cookbooks, hoodies, T-shirts, and wine glasses. Perfect. 35% off. The code is GRACE, 35% only while we are live. Once we are no longer live, neither will this code be. All right? Praise God. All right, let's do a little drink making. Okay, so here we are, the two of us together, taking this crazy chance to be all alone. Shut up. I put ketchup on my tacos. My hood tacos, and I don't care, okay? All right, I'm taking fresh 
mint leaves off of um, the stem, the vine. Like a couple of them. You'll need a whole lot. Maybe like that many. All right. Now to the mint. <laughs> Don't just tell her to shut up. I did. Deal with it. <laughs> shut up. <laughs> okay. To the bottom of this cocktail shaker with the mint, I'm going to add in some sugar, okay? Just, you know, a nice amount of sugar. And the idea here is to muddle the sugar with the um, mint leaves, okay? That's going to release all of the essential oils. That's going to release all of the flavor, all right? And it's going to be some kind of delicious happening. Child, how? Hold on one second. How I did this? Why am I live on two Facebook, the same Facebook page? Bye, y'all. Why you tell me this? I'm live on my my business page on Facebook on two different devices. Ain't nobody told me nothing. I'm just sitting up here looking just as stupid as I want to look, okay? I'm sorry. Why well, I got two live streams going on the same platform? We need this drink, okay? All right, you're going to do a little muddle like this, okay, with the sugar, all right? Now, I am going to add a little bit of water to this because that'll give us a what? Simple syrup, yes? Okay, so we have a quick little mint simple syrup without really having to do a whole a whole lot of work okay i'm sorry y'all facebook i don't know what was going on okay i was live on two at the same time please forgive me okay now to this i've got some fresh squeezed lime juice it don't even matter who squoze it okay now this is called the base of a mojito right just go with me for a second, all right? With the mojito, we add white rum, all right? So now we legit have ourselves a beautiful base of a mojito. We're just missing one ingredient, and that's a little something sparkling. Oh, shit. I mean, shoot. Put the lid on tight, okay? And don't cuss like I just did. Put the lid on tight, okay? And... Now we have a cute little base, right? Let's grab some ice, and I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do. Hold the line. Okay, now you see, typically when you have a mojito, you're going to add like a club soda, or something like that, right? However, I'm not adding that today. I am going to take the base of my mojito, which is that lime juice, rum, simple syrup, and the mint, okay? And, and my sparkling is going to be ginger beer because what am I making? A ginger beer mojito. Okay, hold on one second. What they make that in? They don't. Okay, I am making a ginger beer mojito. I'm having all of the vibes. Facebook is still live. I just was live on two devices on the same Facebook profile. Blame it on a long day I had. Okay. At this time, we're asking all visitors to please stand. If this is your first, perhaps your second, or even your third time joining us, we ask that you please stand at this moment. At this time, oh, let me put the bell on so y'all can hear the bell. It's going off, but ain't no bell going. At this time, we have our impact agents. They're coming from the rear, and they're going to have an information card in their hand. We ask you to take that information card, and you fill that card out. And then when you go around for offering, put the information card into the offering 
basket. And then please come see us in the West Vestibule after service to claim your free gift. All right. Let us take a moment to welcome you to tonight's service. Let the food eat in me. Love the food eat in you. Let the food eat in me. Love the food eat in you. You're easy. Mm, 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 mm. You're easy. Mm, 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 mm. You're easy. Bop, 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 bop. Easy to love. You may be seated in his presence. Tonight's code is um, grace, all right? You can use grace, and then you go to shopdariuscooks.com and get 35% off while we are live. 35% off what? Well, my beautiful, amazing Darius Cooks pressure cooker, which is going to get all the action tonight. Now... Typically, whenever you make um, anything with like a broth or you have to make, you know, the liquid first. Like, you know, grandma used to make, she used to make green beans or collard greens or ton of greens or white beans or red beans. Whatever grandma used to make, you used to have to cook that stuff for four days. It seemed like dinner would be on Sunday and grandma would start cooking the broth. Seemed like she started cooking the broth somewhere around Wednesday. Wednesday, Thursday, the broth start. The greens don't go in to the night before, but the broth been cooking, okay, for all that time. So typically, that's what you would have to do when you had all that, see. But now we have the Darius Cooks pressure cooker which you can get by going to shopdariuscooks.com and using the code GRACE at checkout to save, okay? You have the pressure cooker. We're going to get, now this is fresh out the pack, just washed, okay? This is not tender at all. This is gonna take 20 minutes, okay? This will take you 20 minutes to cook down this smoked turkey. Don't believe me? Just, I know, 20 minutes, I'm trying to tell you. ShopDariusCooks.com, use the code um, GRACE at checkout, and that's gonna save you a couple dollars, okay? So here's what we're gonna do. We put the lid on like this, you see. We lock the lid in place. You set the valve to close, and I'm gonna plug it up over here, away from everything, and I'm gonna let it go for 20 minutes, all right? Please, hold the line. 20 minutes is all it's gonna take. All right, all right, there we go, 20 minutes. And so for those of you who have the pressure cooker, and you're like, okay, Darius, I'm gonna do what you're doing, I use the meat slash stew button, okay? And I do meat slash stew. I do that for, um, I had to build the pressure up and then it's gonna go for 20 minutes and then I'm gonna show you what's coming next, okay? Meanwhile, we got a little work to do. Uh, what we got? A little work to do. We came to work tonight, all right? Let's do it. I'm gonna give me a bowl. Hold the line. I went out and bought me a bunch of bowls because I was so tired of not having enough mixing bowls around the house that now I got too many mixing bowls around the house. Okay. You oh, you want to see what setting I pushed? Yeah, I know. I use the meat slash stew. I use meat slash stew for actually a lot of stuff. I'm just letting you know, okay? I use the meat slash stew button for a lot of things. That's one of my favorite settings because everything I be cooking be so juicy and delicious, okay? All right, get you a skillet. 
uh, cast iron. That's typically what grandmama would use. If you need a cast iron skillet, I got one for you at shopdariuscooks.com. Now they come in pearl and gold or crimson and gold. You can get it at shopdariuscooks.com, okay? Use the code GRACE at checkout because that's going to save you um, 35%. Thank you. All right, whoever that was, just a place to order. Thank you so much. We love you. All right. Now, you're only supposed to use a stick of butter for this. But I feel like two sticks shall be my portion tonight. Tonight is like a two stick kind of night. You know what I mean? It ain't gonna hurt nothing. But tonight is like, I feel like we gotta put two sticks. My oven is at 350. I'm gonna put that in there. All right, and let that melt on up. Now, for those of you who have stories from my grandmother's kitchen, all right? Yes, my very first cookbook, which you can get at shopdariuscooks.com. We about to play, about to play with that a little bit, all right? When, when y'all come to dine with Darius Cooks, right? Like, right, that's delicious. Y'all be asking me, what cookbook are the recipes in? I'd be like, child, we don't pull recipes from here. We don't pull recipes from there. We don't pull recipes from everywhere just to be able to get to what we gotta get to. So I really can't, I really can't really tell you exactly because like it's variations of stuff. Do you know what I mean? So tonight is very much variations, okay? So that was a cup of sugar. This is one cup of cornmeal, all right? And this is that white, fine ground cornmeal. But listen, the kind of cornmeal you use is the kind of cornmeal that is on what? Sale, okay? Cornmeal is cornmeal is cornmeal. And I'm gonna tell you what I'm gonna do every once in a while. I'm gonna tell you every once in a while, when times get a little strange and you know, you don't feel like going to the store? Bring your, come here, come bring your phone. Come close to the phone. I don't want to say it out loud so everybody can hear me. Come close to the phone. Every once in a while, if I need to use something and I don't have no cornmeal, I use grits, all right? If the cornmeal ain't there, sometimes, all right? I use grits instead of cornmeal. Nobody is none the wiser, okay? Grits corn, cornmeal corn, right? Exactly. Okay, let's do a cup of all-purpose flour, all right? And then I'm gonna need me a little tanch of, uh, now this is the easiest, y'all, cornbread recipe in the world. So many of y'all have made this recipe over and over and over again. And I thank you for it, okay? Y'all are absolutely amazing. We have a little pinch of salt in here. And then this is it for all of the, um, dry ingredients, okay? This is it for our dry. So we'll give this a mix and put this to the side for a little bit, all right? A cup, a cup, a cup. You cannot go wrong with this. A cup of flour, a cup of cornmeal, a cup of, whatever I say, all right? Oh, sugar. Now, you know you need two eggs in this, okay? All right, so go and crack your two eggs into your batter. This egg need Jesus. Uh, once you have made this cornbread, I'm going to tell you something that I don't know if anybody has ever told you before in your life. But once you make this cornbread, you will absolutely never, ever, and I do mean ever, use Jiffy Mix again. Okay? Come on now. 
Once you make this cornbread, you will never, ever, ever use jiffy mix again, all right? This is buttermilk from somebody's farm, all right? And we're gonna give this buttermilk and this batter a good stir, all right? Now, I eyeball this because I'm looking for something that looks a little bit like pancake batter, okay? And listen, I eyeball this perfectly, all right? Because guess what I don't need to do? Add nothing else, play with me. Matter of fact, don't. Do not play with me, all right? Now, here's where I'm gonna play a little bit in terms of variation. Um, in the cookbook, I do add corn kernels, okay? But let me tell y'all something. And please do not make me upset when you make this and post it. Could y'all please, for the life of you, please, ma'am, please, sir, do not use that cream corn in the can. Y'all really, y'all be doing that. And I got to tell you something. It really upsets me and my homegirls when y'all do that, okay? We are upset it. Please, can you please, I'm begging you, please stop doing that. That stuff is full of chemicals and full of crap. If you wanna make real cream corn, just put the corn in a food processor with a little piece of heavy cream or half and half. Give it a blend and you got cream corn, all right? Instead of that stuff they got in the supermarket. What is that? I'm gonna be honest, when is the last time I had canned cream corn? I can't even remember. That's just how long it's been since I've had canned cream corn. Couldn't pay me. I'm talking about you could not pay me to eat it today, okay? Now, I'm gonna take my corn that I just cut fresh off the cob, and I'm adding my corn right into my cornbread batter. Okay, right into here. So that was two ears of corn. I don't think there's a rule though that says you gotta only add two ears. You can add as much as you would like. I mean, don't. Don't go overboard, but you know, if you like corn, bruh, it's on you, okay? All right, get this a little stir. Now, with this base recipe, I'm also going to add another ingredient. Okay, and um, all right, here we go. I don't know if this is gonna work with this grater, but we're gonna see. I got me a little piece of Vermont sharp cheddar cheese, okay? Now, before we even go any further, here's what you need to know. This cheese was on sale. Yes, I had a baking powder. This cheese was on sale. It was buy one, get one. I only bought one, but they still gave me the same discount. Okay, so we're just going to grate about a cup, cup and a half of good white. And this is the expensive cheese that was on sale. This is that cabbage cheese. See that? Look at that. Now, you know that's pricey. You know, these shits be about four, five dollars a block. Okay, store brand me, please. Thank you. Store brand me, please. Thank you very much. I'm happy to pay all that for their cheese. I don't care how much money I got. I don't have it. It's not my week. Okay. Okay, this is it. I just want to do a little white cheddar cornbread for you. Okay, but let me tell you something. <laughs> if white cheddar wasn't on sale, it was going to be yellow cheddar cornbread, all right? If yellow cheddar wasn't on sale, it was going to be pepper jack. <laughs> if pepper jack wasn't on sale, it was going to be uh, uh, Monterey jack. It was going to be whatever kind of cheese that them people had down to the thing that was on sale, okay? All right, that's my batter. Let me pull out my, my, uh, my melted butter. All right, now I said, it's like a, 
the recipe calls for one stick, but I'm feeling very um, buttery tonight, okay? So I'm gonna add two sticks of melted butter right in here, okay? Uh-huh, and give that a good mix and get all that mixed on up real good. FYI, this is not the diet cornbread, okay? This is special occasion cornbread, all right? And this is what you have <laughs> on special occasions, yeah? Why the stuff that tastes so good be so, so wrong for you, okay? Look at that. Look at that. I'm talking about tastes good. Hold on one second. You think I ain't finna scrape this pan down? This is about a whole half a serving of cornbread in here. Hold on one second. Let me scrape these sides. Now my oven is at three um, something. 50. I'm gonna put it at 375 actually, okay? 375. All right, and I'm gonna take my cornbread batter in my cast iron skillet, all right, and get that right off into my oven. Yes. Okay, and then let's run that to 375. All right, and we'll keep an eye on it. Make sure we don't burn nothing. Very good. Okay, we need something to accompany our cornbread, okay? That's what we need. The code is Grace. Shop Darius Cooks. Nice buns I have. Quit looking at my butt. ShopDariusCooks.com. You can use the code um, uh, Grace at checkout. 35% tonight. Something that needs to accompany um, our delicious, beautiful cornbread, okay? So I say catfish fillets. Now let me tell you something. You people who live in Savannah, Beaufort, Charleston, you know, Geechee Gullah. I know y'all don't really fool with a catfish like that, but I'm from Chicago, all right? And let me tell you what we enjoy. We thoroughly, wholeheartedly enjoys a little piece of catfish, all right? Now, these catfish fillets are humongous. You could fry these whole fillets like this, but this is too much, this is too much food for one person. I don't care. It's too much. So I like to cut them in uh, pieces on the diagonal, okay? So I like to cut each catfish fillet until about thirds, okay? So really my six, my three pieces of catfish is finna become nine, all right? So grandma would do, she was stretching. You know, we used to have, we used to have more month than money, you see? And sometimes, listen, you got to do what you got to do on these streets, doc. Y'all know about it. We ain't always been making six to seven figures. Oh, no. Sometimes we don't. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Scratching and surviving. Hanging in the child line. Now, I never hung in the child line, but I feel like the song was appropriate. You get the idea, right? Okay, good. All right, let's give this catfish, see, just like, look at this, just very much like pieces. See that? Just very much like pieces. That way, the nooks and the crannies get all the work, okay? Now, I'm going to tell you something I think is so interesting. Why can't I find catfish steaks nowhere but Chicago? Please tell me, why can I not find catfish steaks no place but Chicago. It is upsetting me and my homegirls, okay? The fact that I cannot find catfish fillets no damn well, all right? I don't like it. Let's season this. Let me tell you something. We don't like it. 
All right. Let's do some of this. Y'all, hold on. Let me grab everything I need. All right. Some of this. 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 And a little bit. Is this it what I'm looking for right here? Hold on. I can't find it. Hold on one second, y'all. I'm looking for my stuff. I'm going to start with this. This is going to be enough to start with. Now, let me tell you something. If your catfish is not seasoned like this, please, I don't want it. All right? Your stuff got to be seasoned down. All right? I want you to act like you was Christopher Columbus and you brought over all the spices uh, from the New World. All right? To the New World. I want you to do that. All right? This is a salt... <coughs> Be careful. A, <coughs> <coughs> That's a salted Cajun seasoning. You know that Tony to get you every time, won't it? A little piece of garlic powder. A little piece of non-salted <coughs> Cajun seasoning. All right. A little piece of dry fennel. I don't care. <coughs> if I put it in everything, I'm going to put it in this tonight. Okay, I got me a little taint of smoked paprika, just a little taint. All right, I like mine to have a little kick to it, a little. So that's a little bit of red pepper flake, okay, and then a little bit of black pepper. Yes, thank you. What is this going to be? Seasoned. Seasoned what? Down. <laughs> This gonna be what? Seasoned dime. All right. Let me find me a glove. Y'all hold on one second. All right, I wanna make sure this is seasoned down. It don't make no sense to have no good caffeine. Don't you hate it and it be bland and you be like, who made this? Somebody who needs to go back to going in prayer. Okay? This is how your catfish is supposed to be. Now, if you don't like catfish, you can use something else. But I happen to like catfish. Yeah, the code is GRACE for tonight. You can go to shopdariuscooks.com if there's anything you want. Cookbooks off the site. See, look at them. Let me, let me, let me show you something. All right? Let me show you people something about a piece of season. Catfish, see. Okay, hold on one sec. They said hospital catfish. TikTok, are y'all behaving? Somebody tell me if TikTok behave. TikTok, are y'all behaving? Because you know y'all cuts. The complete fool. Okay, look at this. You see that? That is called seasoned. Hmm. You see that? That is called seasoned. You see that? That's called, if it's not like this, I don't want it. Oh, where well, I got the glass? This glass? You like this one? I got it from shopdariuscooks.com. Use the code GRACE at checkout to save 35%. It's called high sodium. How much salt do you see me put in here? Hold on one second. Let me just read him real fast. Justin. Just then, of these seasonings, and you saw how little Tony's I put in here, where's the sodium? Huh? Justin, which one of these contains sodium? Please answer that question for me. Y'all, hold on one second. Justin cutting up. Because last time I checked, red pepper flakes, no sodium. Smoked paprika, no sodium. Dried fennel, no sodium. Non-salted Cajun seasoning, no sodium. Garlic powder, no sodium. And black pepper, no sodium. Where did you see me put salt in here besides the Tonys I put in here? Exactly. 
Now, the moderators put you on timeout. Okay? The moderators put you on timeout. I'm not a moderator. I block holes. You feel me? All right. All right. The moderators put you on timeout. But as for me and mine, sir, I block holes. All right. Now, a little buttermilk from somebody's farm. And we're going to put this to the side and let it sit for a little bit. Okay. It's called high sodium. It's called, you know what you're talking about. All right. It's called, listen, more than you talk. That's what it's called. All right. It's called, leave us alone. Yes, talk, salt, and Tony's is considered sodium. How much damn um Tony's did you, you know what? I'll tell you what. Hold on one second. Oh, they already blocked you. Oh, well. Moderators got you before I can get you. Yep. Well. Moderators got you before I could. God bless you. All right. This has been 20 minutes. Okay. The Darius Cooks pressure cooker. We are releasing the steam out of our smoked turkey. Let me say something. I was going to block you, but the moderators took care of it. God bless your ministry. Justin, you all right? <laughs> Justin. Calling Justin. Somebody go check on him. Somebody go check on Justin. Moderators on point, baby. Beyond. You understand me? Somebody go. Justin is. Justin and got disappeared about it. He done left. Justin. How you doing? <laughs> oh, you can't hear me, can you? Okay, this was. If you're just joining, this was smoked turkey wing. And you know smoked turkey wing take about four hours to cook down good. Smoked turkey wing and uh, some water. All right, that's what this was. So we put this in the Darius Cook's pressure cooker for 20 minutes on high pressure. And then we're going to, it has a lock on it until the pressure releases, look at this, right? So it has a lock, you can't do it until the pressure releases. Once the pressure releases, then bam, we can open this bad boy up, okay? Now, it's only been 20 minutes, okay? Let me show you what I got to show you in 20 minutes, okay? Oh, look, first of all, Look at that. Okay. It's only been 20. Oh, oh, hold on. It's only, I can't even pick it up. Child, hold on. It's only been 20 minutes. Okay. And my smoked turkey is ready to rock and ready to roll. So here's what I'm going to do. All right. I really can't touch this yet because this is too dang on hot to deal with, all right? So I'm going to put my smoked turkey on the side, right? And I'm going to let my smoked turkey hang out for a little bit and cool ever so slightly. But the money here is partially the smoked turkey, but the money is this broth, Okay. The money here is this broth. And we're going to use this broth in one second. All right. Now let's talk veg, shall we? I have some beautiful fennel. 
believe it or not, I was looking for celery at the supermarket and they didn't have no celery. So I said, well, they got fennel. Let's go and use that, all right? So I'm gonna go on, chop up some fresh fennel. About half this bulb is all I need. I don't need the whole thing, all right? All right, so I'll take the core out, and then it's just a slice and a dice. So, and the crazy thing about fennel is that fennel seed, which is what I use a lot in cooking, fennel seed and fresh fennel taste nothing alike to me. Like, it has such a different taste to it. So, fennel itself has like a licorice taste to it, which can be a little bit off-putting. But the thing about fennel is that when you saute it down, right, when you cook fennel down, it turns super, super sweet. So what it does is it lends this sort of sweetness to everything that we end up cooking, and it's just like, oh, this is so beautiful um, in our dish, okay? So that's a half a bulb of fennel, okay? I also picked up a bell pepper. And you know, I'm iffy because sometimes I like green and sometimes I don't. I feel like green bell pepper, it has its place and it belongs in certain dishes. I think that this is a dish where a green bell pepper really does reign supreme, okay? I mean, you a red one if you want to or like a yellow <clears throat> or an orange or whatever I don't care but I'm here for this okay so I'm looking at about a cup or so of each of the vegetables all right all right I have fennel and that's a green bell and then here's what I want to do. I'm going to start. I have my beautiful, don't worry, it'll be on the site soon, I promise. I'm going to use my Darius Cook's Dutch oven for this, okay? This is the emerald and gold Dutch oven with Darius, sorry, I washed it out, with Darius Cook's imprinted on the bottom. Okay. Let me start to preheat this. Okay, and let's talk about the onion that we need to chop as well. You could use, listen, any onion you want to, all right? Spanish, walla walla, red, I don't care, all right? But this onion was on sale <laughs> at the local Publix Church of God in Christ. And guess what we're going to use? This onion. Okay? About a half of one is all we need. All right? All right. Onion, bell pepper, and some fennel into a bowl. I know y'all were thinking, he ain't going to wash it off? Yes, he will. All right? I know what you was thinking. I know y'all. He ain't go, he ain't go wash nothing off? Yes, he is. All right. Now, into the pan, a couple of turns of olive oil. All right. I'm doing olive oil and let me add a little bit of butter. All right. Just a little touch. I make cooking entertaining. Thank you, sis. I appreciate that. I really do. I do the best I can. That's why they hate me so much. We'll talk about that later. Come on, put this butter in here. All right. Put you a little piece of butter in there. By little piece, I do mean a whole stick. You want your food to taste like something. All right. Now, I have my... Um, normally, I would use leeks. But they didn't have none, so it's okay. 
All right, so I'm gonna put my onion and my bell pepper, and I'm gonna put this um, fennel in here and really let this start going. Now, here's what I want you to understand, okay? It's about layers of flavor. That's what makes your food taste good. You know what I'm saying? When you really sort of start layering out flavors, okay? What do I mean by that? I mean, we're going to start to season our food on every level, okay? We're going to season it a little bit. We're going to season it some more, and we're going to season it some more. That's what makes it taste good. So put you a little piece of salt in here, all right? I got a whole box. We'll put you a little piece of salt. And put you a little piece of pepper. All right. All great things are happening with this. All right. And you know what that salt is going to do is that salt is going to draw out all the moisture, the flavors out of the veg and make it be real, real, real good. Okay. That's what you want to see. Quick little stir. All right. Let me just check my oven, because you know I got that cornbread down there. All right. How y'all doing? Woo-hoo! It's doing good. <laughs> Speaking of good, we need a re-up on our drink. Okay? Let me show you how I made it. Because I know some of y'all came in here late. You got the service late. All right, where I put that mint right here. All right, I got me some mint leaves down in the bottom. See, like this. All right, then we need to add a little bit of sugar right to this, okay? Because this is like a simple syrup and stuff like all at once, okay? Then we're gonna take, you're supposed to have a muddler. They sell the muddler, but I'm from the west side of Chicago, very resourceful, all right? And let me tell you what we don't have. I don't have a, I never grew up with a muddler, but I do have a back of a wooden spoon, and honey, this thing muddles like nobody's business, all right? Tastes very much the same, all right? We'll put a little water in here. That's our simple syrup. You need to put you a little piece of fresh squeezed lime juice in here like this, okay? Then you're gonna have to add you a little piece of, hold on one second, crystal taste to me. What she said? Yes. This is white rum. Okay, just put you a little bit of that in there. You don't need that much, all right? It's a little white rum. Then you can shake up your simple syrup and your white rum and your, uh, your mint. The base of a mojito. You know how they sell the mojito mix is already mixed? We just did it. Let me get some ice. Hold the line. All right. Now, this is the fun part. You add in some of your base. I can't get it off. Hold on. There you go. Add in some of your base. And then we're topping it with ginger beer because what do we have a ginger beer mojito thank you thank you for coming <laughs> thank you for coming drink oh my god refresh speaking of refresh Get in here and stir your stuff up, or you'll be a fool, all right? Okay. I wish y'all, can I show this? To, let me see if I can show this to you. 
I doubt I can, but you have to see like the sauteation of what's going on in this pan, all right? Let me see, can you see? Then you can see it. You gotta see the olive oil, the butter, the onion, okay? If you had celery, they didn't have no celery at the store, at the store. I would've got that. But you gotta see like what's happening, right? And that little bit of salt helps release all the juices, okay? Speaking of juices, let's talk. Cause I got some more juices, all right? Couple of ears of corn, yes, all right? Now, this is um, white corn. I don't know how it look on this camera, but this definitely is white corn, okay? Because this is yellow corn, all right? I'm going to show you the difference in one second. Hold on, they didn't do a good job removing the, the silk off of this one. Jeez, this one is hairy. It should have went to the spa before it came to dinner. <laughs> it could have went and got a little, a little waxing. See that? All right. White corn and yellow corn. We're having an interracial dinner tonight. All right. Everybody is welcome. It does not matter. All right. It doesn't matter how you identify, you are human. And you are a part of the family. Thank you. Like a giant tree branching up to the sky. Curtis, Curtis was supposed to love me. We are dream girls. Dream girls will never leave you. I don't sing oohs and ahs. Look at it now with a whole talk show. Listen, me neither, sis. Okay? Me neither. Okay, with a whole talk show. And y'all talked about her at first. Now look at him. Okay? Now, you could use, I'm going to be honest with you. If you don't have fresh corn, because some of y'all live in places where you may not be able to get fresh corn, frozen corn could work for this, okay? But if you can find fresh, please find fresh. This is something about fresh corn off the cob that just, child, ain't nothing like it. You know what I mean? Ain't nothing like it. Put some bacon on and put the corn on the skillet and the cast iron with some butter. Oh, God. I'm going to put my corn in with my vegetables that's cooking, okay, y'all? This is my biracial corn. Red and yellow, black and white. They are precious in his sight. Jesus loves the little children of the world. All right. Now, you know what we need in this that we don't have? Look at your neighbor and say some garlic. Where my spoon at? Right here. Let me stir this up. You can do like, put your hand on your hip like grandma did. All right. Oh. Ooh, wee. Man, that thing smell good, okay? And sometimes, you know, I be hating to toot my own horn. I do. But I really do be cooking, boy. I'll tell you one thing about it. I be in here tearing it up. Okay. Couple cloves of garlic. And by couple, as many as you want. <laughs> okay. I'm going to slice it. But... A couple of cloves of garlic and as many cloves as you deem necessary. Okay. Maybe if James, what's his name? Justin. Maybe if Justin is watching, 
Maybe this will help balance out all the sodium we used earlier. All right. It'd be so many experts in the comments. You're not doing this right. You're not doing that right. When we go see you do it, turn the camera on you so we can tune in to your kitchen. Thank you. All right. All right, we do a little slice on a couple cloves of garlic. I'm gonna throw my garlic in. The reason I didn't put my garlic in first is because you know, if you did that, it would what? Burn. What are we not here for? Burn garlic, okay? All right, and then lastly, well, not lastly, but the next thing I'm gonna put in is I got some fresh thyme, okay? Fresh thyme. I am not even going to peel the fresh thyme off the leaf. I mean, the things, right? The, the leaves off the stem. I'm putting the fresh thyme, everything. All this is flavor. I'm putting it right in here, just like that. See, bam, and you stir it up. Okay? Now, what we will do is we will pull off that fresh thyme, the stems that's left. We'll pull them stems off when it's all over, all right? But for right now, we're gonna put some flavor in there. Speaking of flavor, now do you remember? Cause you might've forgot. Somebody said, look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, when we gonna see you do it, exactly. We made that smoked turkey broth. Remember that smoked turkey broth we made in 20 minutes? Do you recall? I do. Now, this smoky, smoky, this smoked turkey broth has all that flavor in here. You can't get rid of this. This is gonna be the base of our corn chowder. Let's add it in, okay? Thank you for coming, okay? And give that a stir. And we're gonna let that corn and that fresh thyme and all those beautiful vegetables cook on up right fast in that smoked turkey broth. Cause you have to add that flavor on top of flavor, on top of flavor, on top of flavor. But we do gotta season it though. Cause we ain't seasoned it yet. And that smoked turkey broth, it be good, but you be like, it's missing something. I know. Okay. Put you a little piece of chicken bouillon in here. Okay. That's our sodium right there. And then traditional cast of characters, all right? We're gonna do a little bit of uh, black pepper. I got me a little tinge of onion powder. I mean, garlic powder, I'm, I lied, it's garlic. <laughs> a little taint of dry fennel. All right. A little taint of red pepper flake. Oh, a little paint, all you need, about that much. Whoop. You put that down on, on a uh, on medium now. And then we need some Herbs de Provence, all right? Or Italian seasoning, all right? And we give that a stir. I don't know about you, but this makes me super excited because you have that smoked turkey broth, you have that corn. Okay, you have all the onion and stuff. All the things are happening in there, and it's going to be amazing. All right, we let our turkey cool off enough where we could pull it. Now, remember, this was only in there. Oh, it's still hot. Hold on. It was only in there for 20 minutes, okay? But as you can see, 20 minutes is all we, woo, 20 minutes is all we need 
to pull this smoked turkey off this bone, okay? Uh, 20 minutes, y'all, is all it took. Ah, 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 to pull this meat off this bone, okay? This is a, um, I'm using a smoked turkey. Where my knife at? This is too hot. I'm using a smoked turkey wing, but you can use whatever you want, child. Okay? It's hot. It's still smoking. You could, I'm using a wing, but you could use smoked turkey tails or whatever you want. It don't matter. Just use something good. Okay? All right. Can we get in here real fast? And can we dice up this smoked turkey meat real good? Mm. Oh, y'all, it's so good. Mm. 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 Okay, we're going to dice up the smoked turkey meat. And we're going to put the smoked turkey meat in there with... Mm. It was good, too. Put the smoked turkey meat in there with the um, corn. All right? You see that? Good. Mm -hmm. mm. All right, a little shred. So you know room. Okay. Check the cornbread. Sis, I am 40 years old. I've been making cornbread since I came out the womb. All right? And frying fish and frying chicken. Trust me when I tell you, that cornbread is all right. Thank you. All right. Y'all still don't have no faith in me? How long I been cooking on live stream? 2013? 14? And y'all still don't have no faith in me. I've been cooking on live stream all these years. And you think I'm going to get in here and burn some cornbread. Come on, y'all. Y'all, come on. You got to know me a little better than that. Come on now. All right, smoked turkey is going in. And let me clean off my, my board. Check the cornbread. Me, of all people, Check the cornbread. Me, of all people, check the cornbread. Oh boy. All right, let's take this up one more notch and let's add in some heavy cream into our chowder, okay? Do a little heavy cream. Not a little, but enough. All right. It is going to be sweater season. All right. So heavy cream is always in order. All right. Let me stir that one good time. Oh, yes. Whew. Let me see if y'all can see this. I don't know if y'all going to be able to see this or not, but let me see if y'all can see what this pot is giving. Okay. Can y'all see this? Can y'all see what's in this pot? Okay. Corn, fennel, garlic. Look at my thyme. All right. Infusing it with fresh thyme, butter, olive oil, turkey broth, smoked turkey broth. Okay. All good things are yet happening right here. Okay. All right. Let's get us a little piece of a bowl and let's add in a little piece of cornmeal into our bowl. Now, to this cornmeal, I'm gonna I'm a run up in here a salted Cajun seasoning, okay? 
Why salt it? Because I don't really use that much salt. You're doing it right. Okay? If you ain't coughing, if you ain't sneezing, you ain't doing it right. Okay? All right. Remember that corn, I mean that um catfish, okay, that we had sitting in that seasoning and that buttermilk? Take me to the water. Take me to the war or tap. Check the cornbread. Shut up. Okay. Of all the people, baby, and let me tell you something. I done been on here drunker than a skunker. Okay. And still, the cornbread came out amazing. All right. I only burnt something one time, and that's because the grease was up too high. Okay. I only burnt something one time. Well, I burnt something one time and I dropped them brownies that other time. But that's okay because I recovered really well from dropping them brownies. You know, stuff happened. Okay? I done made my own little fish fry. You can put whatever you want to put in yours. Okay? I done made my own little fish fry over here. All right? Now, my oil is already hot. All right, got me a little deep fryer going on back here. All right, let me drop. I'm going to drop my fish on in my oil. Y'all hold on, hold the line. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Uh-huh. Ain't nothing like it. I swear for God. All right, give me a little piece of fried catfish. Now, let me get my my uh, my uh stuff ready because you already know this fried catfish is going to come out real fast. And when it come out, you're going to have to have your, your plate ready, okay? Matter of fact, what is plate? I'm going to use this one. All right, so I'm not dirtying up any more dishes. Now let me check my cornbread because I can kind of smell it. Let me see what's going on in the oven. Since everybody want to tell me how to make cornbread. Ooh. Hey, hey, hey. Okay. It ain't ready. Hold on. And I'm going to let it go for a couple seconds more. But I want y'all to see. Oh. What I'm working with. Oh, hold on. That's going to get hot real fast. Hold the line. Hold on, hold on, hold on. <sighs> you see that? The light is bad. Oh, Jesus. Oh, there you go. There you go. You can see it back here. Okay? You can see it back here. All right? I'm going to let it go for a few more minutes. All right? And I'm telling you now, you know when I cut it, it's going to be a fool because I'm not going to have time to let it rest, okay? Now, speaking of rest, we need, okay, listen. We're going to have to go and hook this up real fast. I don't know what kind of hot sauce you like, Okay? But I'm at a crossroads between tonight between Crystals and Louisiana hot sauce. All right? So I got a fresh. Oh, and let me tell you something. The other two runners up. Don't play with them. Tapatio and Cholula. Don't sleep, okay? Tapatio and 
ain't your Lula, all right, don't sleep. Because them shits be amazing, all right? Astounding. Here's what we're going to do. I can't decide, so I'm going to do both, all right? I'm going to mix crystals. Okay, put your little crystals in here, okay, with a little Louisiana. I can't decide, so I don't know which one to use, all right? So I'm going to put crystals and Louisiana in here. All right, thank you. And then, why don't we add in some honey? And why don't we make a honey hot sauce to go over our catfish? Thank you. All right, I'm here for it. All right, I'm here for a homemade honey hot sauce. Whisk it together. Okay. And now we have an amazing condiment. Try that goes with everything. We did this for Dada with Darius Cooks. We said it's honey hot sauce. They said, what's in it? I said, honey and hot sauce. Okay. Honey and hot sauce. Please allow me to check my fish. Please hold the line. Thank you. Oh, yeah. My fish done, child. Oh, yes. I'm letting my fish drain. I'm going to put it right here on um, paper towel. As soon as I... Oh, here it go over here. I can cut this off now. Look at this. Ooh, would you look at this. Ooh, we had a time last night. Ooh, we had a time... Last night. Ooh. Ooh, we had a time. Ooh, we had a ooh, it's, ooh, ooh, we had a time. What y'all said? I thought somebody said something. I, I really, what I really thought, I don't know which one of these platforms. But I hear so much talking that I really thought I heard somebody say something about some catfish and it being overcooked. What was that? I can't. May your apology be as loud as your accusation. Huh? May your apology be just as loud. As your accusation. Now, let's finish up our chowder. All right, I got my chowder on. It's on low. Let me pull this cornbread out the oven too, cause it's ready. I'm gonna pull this cornbread out. See. Oh yes, oh yes, thank you. And you know, ain't but one thing to do with this. You already know, ain't but one thing to do with this. Huh? Put your hand on your hip and sing a hymn as grandmama would do. Whoa, time is filled with swift transition. Not on earth unmoved can stand. Build your hopes on things 
eternal hold to God's unchanging hands. Or oh, the other one she was saying is um. Oh, what peace we often fall or fit. Oh, what needless pains we bear. Your grandmama too, huh? All because we do not carry everything to God in prayer. <laughs> you have to do that while you while you butter your cornbread, or it's just not going to be anointed enough. Okay, put my cornbread on the side for a moment, and I really only have one thing left to do, y'all. That's it. All right, one thing. Oh, y'all singing it with me? <laughs> I love it. I love it. All right, a wee bit of cornstarch. All right, and I'm gonna mix this cornstarch with some cold water. All right, I'm making what's called a cornstarch slurry. So it's equal parts cornstarch and equal parts water. And this, sweet pumpkins, is going to thicken up my chowder beautifully. All right, I'll show you in one second what I mean. Give me a second. Oh God. Oh Jesus. Oh, I'm talking about beautiful. Oh yeah. Oh, don't you just love it when a plan comes together like this? So do I. Oh. Now, smoked turkey, corn chowder. I'm talking about, let me pull out my time. Hold on, pull out my time. Thank you for coming. See what I mean? how the leaves have just fallen off and flavored the chowder beautifully. Okay. Where do we even start? Yes, it's the look I give when you know you've done the damn thing, okay? <laughs> when you know you have done the damn thing, okay? Smoked turkey corn chowder with the smoked turkey broth, okay? Oh, God. Oh, jeez. Oh. Look at that. Oh, my God. Okay? Would you look? Excuse me. I'm sorry. One moment. I've, I've got something. I've got things to do. Okay? Hold on. This goes back on the stove. Why don't we grab a little saucer? And you already know this cornbread is going to crumble because it hasn't cooled off, but that's all right. All right? Let me cut me your wedge out. Hold on, y'all. Ooh. Let me cut me a little wedge out. Hold the line, please. You ain't got nowhere to go. Oh, Jesus Christ. Look at this. Oh, would you look? You know, you know I didn't let it cool. So you already know it's going to crumble a little bit, but that's all right. Okay? And it's, look how hot it is. Okay? That's okay. Because we have things to do. Speaking of things to do, um, I'm going to do a little catfish. 
It's about the only time you're gonna ever hear me say, I'm gonna do something with some fish. If you know, <laughs> then you know, okay? I'm gonna put a little bit of this honey hot sauce oh, all over this catfish. Okay? Oh, hold on one second. My bad, YouTube, sorry. Okay, so let me get a fork because I really got to get up in, up in here a little bit, all right? Oh, look at, oh, oh my God. Look at this, look at that. Would you look at that? Would you look at, would you look at this? Would you look at this catfish? Come, come close. Huh? Now all you gotta do is bow your head and say, Grace, Grace. Listen, let me tell you something. Baby, this honey hot sauce alone is worth the price of admission. Okay, it has a subtle heat. Nah, I ain't dead drunk. It has a subtle heat. Mm. Um, a beautiful sweetness mm. that makes it all worthwhile. Okay, now. Mm. Try this cornbread. Okay, this is. I want you to see this first of all. Let me get this. Look at this. This is this white cheddar cornbread with the cheese in it. Okay, and the corn. Child. 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 Okay. Baby. Now this is cornbread. Mmm. Buttery. Sweet, the perfect texture, and it's singing. All oh, because we do not carry. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay. Mm. Okay, now, the smoked turkey corn chowder. Baby, the smoked turkey corn chowder. It's hot, okay? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You could blend it up if you want to blend it up, but I'm kind of a chunky kind of guy. No pun intended. But let me tell you something. Mm. Oh my God. It's got little chunks of smoked turkey running around in here. The raw is smoky, savory, unction. I mean, it's the way a chowder should be. A chowder should literally rise up out of the bowl and hug you. And baby, this is exactly what this thing is doing, okay? 
it's dripping into my bowl, y'all. This thing done rolls up and is hugging me, okay? Now, if you're going to cook and you're going to eat, this I got to be, all right? You got about 10 more minutes on the cold grace at checkout and our ginger beer mojitos. Okay, you got a few more minutes to use the code GRACE <laughs> at checkout. ShopDariusCooks.com, 35% off. And there's two things I want to tell you, as I always do. Food is my life. Life is my food. Until next time, I got to wish you a happy cooking, huh? From my heart. To your value.